In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for CH3COOH plus KOH. This is acetic acid, and this is potassium hydroxide. You may see acetic acid written like this here, just a little bit different. It's the same thing, it's just organized a little bit differently. So either way, they're the same thing, but we're going to use the one here in the video. So the first thing we need to do is write the balanced equation when we're doing net ionic equations. So this is the molecular equation. Here it looks like everything's balanced, so we don't have to do anything. So that's done. Then we write the state. This acetic acid, it does dissolve in water, so we can write aqueous. The thing is though, it dissolves, but it's not a strong electrolyte, so it's going to stay together dissolved in water. Dissociates just a little bit. So weak acids, we say they're aqueous, but they aren't going to dissociate. KOH, that's a strong base. That'll be aqueous, it'll dissociate, break apart completely. We have this potassium acetate here. Potassium compounds, usually aqueous, dissolve in water, split apart, and then water, that's just a liquid. So we have our states. So now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. This is not a strong electrolyte, it's a weak acid. We don't do anything. Potassium, group one on the periodic table, that has a plus one charge. Hydroxide ion, that has a one minus. So you should memorize that OH, the hydroxide ion here, that is a one minus. We said that potassium, that had a plus, so the acetate ion here, that'll have a minus. So this whole CH3COO, that'll be minus. Water, we're not going to mess with. That's a liquid. We don't split it apart. So now we'll split the strong electrolytes. CH3COOH, that's not a strong electrolyte, so we're going to leave it together. Put a little AQ after it plus K plus, that's our potassium ion, that's aqueous, and then the hydroxide, also dissolved in water. These are the reactants. The products, we end up with this CH3COO minus, this is the acetate ion, that's aqueous, plus the potassium ion, and then that water, we said we don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations. So this is what we call the complete ionic equation. Now we're going to cross out spectator ions. These are ions, they appear on both sides of the equation. They haven't really changed. So we start out with K plus, and we have a K plus here. Since they're the same, we're going to cross those out. But everything else is different. This CH3COOH, this acetic acid, is very different from the acetate ion. The hydroxide, that's different from water. So, we have now the net ionic equation. Let's clean it up, get rid of the spectator ions, see what that looks like. And this is the net ionic equation for CH3COOH plus KOH, acetic acid plus potassium hydroxide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.